Well, tonight, the off-duty pilot accused of trying to shut down the engines of an Alaska Airlines plane mid-flight is now facing a federal charge. CBS's Chris Van Cleve reports tonight that we are learning more details about the terrifying incident, including the fact that the suspect admitted to recently using psychedelic mushrooms. Tonight, our first look at 44-year-old Alaska Airlines Captain Joseph Emerson in court facing 83 counts of attempted murder after he allegedly attempted to turn off the engines of Alaska Flight 2059 while he was off-duty and riding in the cockpit jump seat Sunday night. If we've got the uh, guy that tried to shut the engines down uh, out of the cockpit. According to newly released court documents, Emerson told police he was having a nervous breakdown, hadn't slept in 40 hours, was battling depression, and had consumed, quote, magic mushrooms two days earlier. About a half hour into the flight, the pilots told investigators Emerson threw off his headset and pulled red fire handles like these that can cut off fuel to the engines. One of the pilots said he wrestled Emerson away from the controls and asked him to leave the cockpit. Police say Emerson told them he did it because I thought I was dreaming and I just want to wake up. Fear went through our bodies. Passenger Paul Stephen was one of 84 on board. I've flown a lot in my life and... I had been scared once before, and um, yesterday was the second time. While in the back of the plane, court documents say Emerson asked to be handcuffed, but then tried to open an emergency exit door. Police arrested him when the plane landed in Portland. Airline Captain Laura Einsettler. The crew that was operating this flight did an excellent job being able to actually challenge him, get him away from the controls, and, and subdue him and be able to get him into the back of the aircraft. Now, during tonight's hearing, Emerson pleaded not guilty to all charges, but will remain behind bars, at least for now. Alaska says he showed no visible signs of impairment before boarding that Sunday night flight and had passed all of his FAA required medical certifications throughout his more than 20 year pilot career. And that includes regular evaluations for mental health. Nora. Chris Van Cleve, thank you so much.